Hey guys, it's Danny. Now today is very exciting for two reasons. Number one, it's my birthday and I'm turning 40 and I've always said that I was born to be 40 so I can already feel really good things happening. And number two, today I am doing a collaboration with the one and only Alicia of Mind Over Much. We are both gonna be sharing with you guys a sweet and savory apple recipe. Now I'm gonna be making a savory homemade apple chicken sausage and a sweet seven minute stovetop apple crisp. And then Alicia is gonna show you guys how to make, you know what? Let's just have her tell you herself. Hi Danny and clean delicious friends. I am so excited to be able to share my apple recipes with you. Today I am showing you how I make my chicken apple stir fry and crustless apple pies or cinnamon baked apples. Both are super easy, delicious, and a great way to use the seasonal apples that are available to you right now. I hope you'll come over to my channel, say hello, and subscribe. Clearly we have some really good stuff happening today. So once you're done watching my recipes, make sure you head on over to Mind Over Munch so you can see both of Alicia's recipes as well. Now my first recipe is a homemade chicken apple sausage. Now personally, I love to make this on the weekend when I'm doing some meal prep. This way I know that I have a really delicious, convenient, protein packed option in the fridge ready for breakfast or lunch or a snack once the week gets going. So I've got a medium sized nonstick saute pan heating up over a medium heat. And to that, I'm just gonna add in one teaspoon of coconut oil. Once the oil melts, in goes one diced onion and a little pinch of salt. Mix that together and let it saute for two minutes until the onions begin to sweat a bit. They're gonna look a little bit translucent. Then I'm adding in one diced apple and I'll let this cook another two minutes until the onions and the apple are nice and tender. Transfer it into a large glass bowl and let it cool for five minutes. Then I'm gonna add one pound of ground chicken to my apples and onions. Now I am using a dark meat ground chicken because it adds a little bit more flavor, a little bit more moisture. But I have also made these with lean and extra lean ground chicken and turkey for that matter. They all work, they're all delicious. You just have to decide what you want. If you want a lower fat, lower calorie sausage patty, go with the light meat. If you want a little more fat, a little more flavor, go with the dark meat. Next I'm adding in one quarter cup of fresh chopped parsley, one teaspoon of poultry seasoning, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and one teaspoon of fennel seed. Now when you buy fennel seeds, they're gonna look like this, they're a little bit longer, so you're just gonna wanna give them a rough chop before you add them in to the mixture. But whatever you do, don't leave them out because fennel is one of those spices that really makes sausage taste like sausage. So it's very important that you add it to the mix. Then I've got one teaspoon of kosher salt and a half a teaspoon of pepper. And then we're just gonna mix this till we've got everything well combined. Easiest way to do it, with your hands. Then I'm just gonna use my hand to create four sections, and then I'll take a half of one of those fourths and create a patty. The goal is to get eight patties. So you just keep going until you've got all eight patties formed, just like that. Now a few other flavor ideas here. If you wanted, you could add a little diced jalapeno and have an apple jalapeno sausage. Or for those who like sweet, you could do a little drizzle of maple syrup and have an apple maple sausage. I'm telling you guys, possibilities are endless. Then when you're ready to cook them, all you're gonna do is turn your pan back on, add another teaspoon of coconut oil, and then add three to four patties to the pan depending on how big the pan is. You don't wanna overcrowd it because we wanna get a nice light golden brown color so you're better to work in batches here. Then you'll just let it cook for three to four minutes on one side, flip them over, let them go another three minutes on the other side or until they're cooked through and your homemade apple sausage patties are ready to go. Now you could eat these right away or you could store them in your fridge in an airtight container for up to five days. Now onto something sweet my seven minute stovetop apple crisp. You wanna grab a medium sized saute pan, heat it over a medium heat, and add one teaspoon of coconut oil. To that goes one chopped apple, a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, and just an itsy bitsy pinch of salt. Let that cook for five minutes or until your apples are ground up and fork tender. Then all you're gonna do is transfer your apples into your favorite apple crisp eating dish. Top with some creamy Greek yogurt 
and a few tablespoons of your favorite granola. Now, personally, I am currently obsessed with this Jessica's gluten-free almond pecan granola. I love the flavor. It's crunchy, it's a little bit sweet, and it only has six grams of sugar per serving. And if you know anything about granola, that's extremely low. When you guys are buying store-bought granolas, you always want to check the ingredients and the labels because they tend to have a lot of added sneaky sugars. Or you can be extra diligent and make it yourself. Mm. It's sweet, it's creamy, it's crunchy, it hits all of those flavor notes, and it tastes just like apple pie. So now I am curious, which of these two recipes do you think you will try first? Come on down into the comments below and let me know which one and why. And if you need to print these recipes, you can do that at cleananddelicious.com. Now guys, don't forget to head on over to Alicia's channel and see what type of deliciousness she's making for you. And while you're there, give her a little love and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'm Danny Spees. I will see you next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Because now we're gonna party like it's my birthday. We'll drink we'll call tea like it's my birthday, like I'm 40. <laughs>